Yes. And I personally love this matchup. It's one of the more most seen matchups, Mario versus Diddy Kong. It's yeah. a 50-50. Especially in the Michigan area, that's for sure. Yeah, we have you know we obviously have Zenodo and Ally, yep. two most of the two well known uh, Mario's and, and Diddy Kong's yep. respectively. The so Rog is definitely up there on the list of Diddy's in the area. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Rog, very. Uh, he's, a, he's like we were saying before. He's a rising Diddy Kong player. A little, you know, he's got some losses that kind of hold him back and nag yeah. him a little bit. But you know, for for the most part, you know, seven eight times out of ten, we see yeah. him. He's a solid. He plays a solid game, so yep. we're gonna see what he can do against Ally here. Of course, this is um, quite the test for yeah. Rog. By the way, to anybody who watched my set on stream, I apologize for going Olimar. I'm trying to bring him back because the scene's been complaining about Michigan not having an Olimar. We were talking about that actually. Yeah, yeah there are no Olimars. We used to exactly. have Coco. We yeah. used to have Coco, who was a resident. He showed Olimar. up for like two weeks during the summer and then disappeared yeah. again. And he was pretty good, too. It's yeah. kind, of, kind of unfortunate. He uh, he moved to, oh. I think, like North oh. Carolina. Well, that okay. explains why. Around Labor Absolutely. Day. And Nam gave up Olimar long ago, so. Life so happens. Somebody's got to carry on the <laughs> Olimar tradition. Dang it. Yeah, definitely. Because um, I know how much the stream just loves watching Pikmin being <laughs> chucked. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, but this match, we're going to see Bananas getting chucked by Rog here as he tries to fend off Ally. Yeah, we're going to go right into Smashville here to start this. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Ally adapts to Rog's Diddy because it's not the banana-centric play that Zenodo uses. He is actually able to get in there, mix it up without the banana. And I have actually heard some Diddies say that this matchup is a bit easier if you don't use the banana. Well, one of the things that kind of tilts this matchup from for Mario in general is just the cape. Because mm -hmm. if you're able to cape the banana consistently, that kind of just gives you the you know control exactly. of the banana and gives yeah. you the advantage there. So, But uh, Ally off to a quick start on Rog yep. here. Ooh, Rog is trying to find a way to get in and start some combos. Yeah, doing some fancy B reverse in there to get in. Yep. Oh, Ooh. just calling out his landing right wow. there. I don't know if Rog DI'd that cor correctly because it look, kind of yeah. looked like he was going to survive that, and then all of a yeah. sudden we just see the blast zone kick off. So, kind yeah. of maybe some unfortunate DI from Rog, and Ally yeah. is going to take that stock a little early here. Yeah, now we see Ally just sitting in a more defensive stance now, not rushing him down like he was earlier. Right, yeah, now he knows Rog has to approach him now, so he's going to yeah. try to make Rog just throw out some options to see if he can get some punishes, and that's exactly yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. Getting these, oh no, here we go, here we go. Oh, the platform, right. getting him out of that. Yeah, finally escaping the salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Diddy Kong is one of those uh, characters that really just get pummeled by uh, Mario's combos. Look at that, re-grab on the platform. And the up B. Yeah, to tap it off. Jeez. Give me my money. Oh my god, and the flood just catching the edge of that. Ooh, trying to, he's going to, anticipate he rolled the other way with the up yeah. smash, but Rog not having any of that. Yep. Very safe option, actually, from Rog. Very, very smart. Yeah, trying to do some fancy dash dashing, but Hell ain't dropping that shield anytime soon. Yeah, right now we just kind of got back and forth footsie, so. Yep. Oh, Ooh. there's something we've been doing a lot of Mario's do against Diddy Kongs that we haven't seen before is just trying. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh my god. Just Sucker punched him into the nether. Yeah, I mean, just the amount of pressure that Ally had him under, I mean, he just panicked. I mean, just rode with him. Yeah. Just rode with him and just. Jeez. Yeah. Just goes to show how much yeah. Ally knows matchups and how to read people. Absolutely. He uh, he read it like a book and. Yeah, Rog paid the price. That's for impressive. It. So, actually. Pretty impressive stuff from on Rog's part, though, kind of keeping with him a little yeah. bit, kind of adjusting a little bit and bringing it back. Yeah. But. I mean, a mm -hmm. little, little, little too late, a little too late. Yeah. But Ally's one of those one of those players that's just going to adapt the minute the match starts. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what separates, that's one of the things that separates middle levels from top levels is yep. your ability to adapt. But here we're going to see... Um, Rock going to his happy place. Yes, Kalos <laughs> is his go-to stage. He loves the walls, loves the stage. Yep. So definitely his counter pick. Which interesting he would do this because I'm pretty sure in most major tournaments you can't use these kind of stages. So yeah, but for the Smashfield weeklies we allow. Them. Yeah, for the Smashfield weeklies that's exactly right. And you know against Ally why not? Yeah, I'll try to get something started off with those Diddy hands. Mm -hmm. Yep, nice. Rog doing what he does best is just getting up front, and that's where Diddy yep. Kong's gonna beat Mario. He's gonna outbox him a little bit, so he's got to yeah. get inside. But here we go, one, two, nope. <laughs> Only three there. You just gotta count them, man. Yeah, Rock's doing a much better job of dancing around Ally this game. Yeah, absolutely. He's playing a little safer, just using his mm -hmm. tilts just to get build damage yep. slowly but surely, playing safer. Yep. 
Mm, there we go. Got ally off stage without a jump, but ally made oh, it back. That was a beautiful setup of the uh, mana being on the right on the edge yeah. of the stage. Yeah, Rock is getting a lot out of that edge guard there. Yeah, he's doing a wonderful job of keeping him keeping the pressure on off stage. Yeah. Uh oh. Using those barrels getting back there. Nobody uses flood though like ally. That's so impressive. Yeah. I mean, yeah, whether it's on stage or off stage. Just at the right time. Yeah, complete. He gives him complete control of the situation, really. Ooh. Yeah, he just wants to fall <laughs> for that again. <laughs> yeah, no. But unfortunately, I'm B reversing right into that grab and putting himself in a bad situation. I feel like a uh, B reversal up B might have actually caught Rog there because Rog really just yeah. was kind of waiting him out. Ooh, is that going to take it? Mm. No. Just barely not enough. A few more percentage points. Yeah. Ooh, oh, good, that was good great patience. patience. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Very good patience from uh, Pulse Rog there to get that yeah. kill. Just like that, he's managed to get off the first stock, so it's going to come down to how long can he keep this. That is a classic ally right there, just coming right back to the stage with an up smash. But Rog, knowing he's going to do that, just throws him with a banana and gets yep. uh, some early percent here. Yeah. So, I mean, he's going to hope that... Oh, oh, <laughs> come on, Rog, you know what he's going oh. for. Come on, Rog, you know that. Oh, oh Rog. See, okay. One of the things I've learned about this matchup, actually, is mm -hmm. um, if you... Shield up smash, mm -hmm. shield cancel up smash. If you can anticipate monkey flip coming out, mm -hmm. it's it's a guaranteed hit, yeah. and it's guaranteed gonna challenge and beat that out. And that's exactly what he did to steal that stock. He yeah. saw the monkey flip coming, shield cancels up smash, takes him out. Yeah. So right now, Rog back on the back foot. Ally bringing this back got him up to 52% right now. Can we see a win? I want to see game three between C9 Ally and Pulse Rog. This is gonna be a really good set, but looks like Ally is kind of taking control of this match right now. Yeah. Oh no, he got him with the foot, with the nair chase, the grab. Oh, another nair. Come on, stop it. Oh, oh my geez. god, he's this awareness. He's reading everything right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Pulse Rog really having a hard time just putting out inputs yeah. right now without getting punished. I mean, I know the stage is fancy, but it's not a library ally. You can't keep checking out these books. <laughs> <laughs> they have a limit. I'm going to send the library cop after you. <laughs> All right. Just kind of resetting the game here. Just trying to slow down the pace yeah. a little bit. You know, you, you're behind this much percentage, though. It's ally, but, you know, yep. you just got to find ways to break in and just kind of build damage. And yep. he's got a lot of rage now, so maybe 90, 100 will kill. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Rog, though, getting really close to dying here. One yeah. One good back air, one good up smash. Yeah. Or throw at the edge of the stage will be all it'll take. Yeah, this might Is be it right enough? here. No, nope. it's not going to be. Not Just not enough rage on uh, ally right now. Oh, oh no. no, he shielded it and that negated the barrels. Dang. Oh my goodness. And right now he's gonna kinda they're gonna kinda talk about that because yeah. that was so unexpected. Yeah. And what a way to take it. Yeah, I mean Rogno doing a pretty good job there game two, keeping it a lot closer than game one. Yeah, no, we saw some great adjustments there from